One thing I did want to say, and one thing today just made me think about, for all the things that I've done, I'm most renowned for what I didn't do. I, I've made decisions in my career that a lot of people have called insane. 2004, I had a $50 million deal on the table. And in a crisis of conscience, flipped the table over and walked away. Went to South Africa. Everyone said I was running away from the money. That is not true. In fact, I still want that money. <laughs> the idea that I wanted to just share with you guys is the idea that sometimes you, you do what you think is best. Uh, whether anybody understands it or not. I heard a story about my father where someone told me he used to do statistics for a company in D.C. The company he did statistics for started doing business with the South African government, so he quit his job. It's caused a lot of problems between his, him and his wife. It's hard for a man when he can't provide for his family the way he wants to, and he suffered through it. And a generation later, when I had my crisis of conscience, I was able to go to a free South Africa and get away from the heat. This idea that what you do in your lifetime informs the generations that comes after you is something I keep thinking about, something that is so much bigger than just ourselves. I just want, I just want, I just want you guys to remember, you know, that right now there's this thing where, where ethics aren't what they used to be. This idea that people are trying to replace the ideas of good and bad with better or worse. That is incorrect. You got to keep your ethics intact because uh, good and bad is a compass that helps you find the way. And a person that only does what's better or worse is the easiest type of person to control. They are a mouse in a maze that just finds the cheese. But the one who knows about good and bad will realize that he's 